Hey and welcome to part 15 of this Django tutorial series. In this part of the learning management system we are going to make it possible to add authors to courses and also make it possible to have an author page you can visit. So the first thing we need to do is to open up the model for the course. So if you go into models.py here you can see that we have the course model here. Great, so below created it, I want to create a new field, created by equals models dot foreign key, and this should be linked to the user object. I want to set the related name to courses, so it's easy to access them. Then if you delete a user, I also want to delete all of its courses, so models dot cascade, sorry, models dot cascade. I already imported the user, as you can see here. So now I can save this file and update the database by stopping the web server, say python, manage.py, make migrations. And I need to set a one-off default because there are no authors for the current courses I already have. So just set, type one and then I can just type one here because one is the ID for my admin user. And then we need to run this by saying python, manage.py, migrate. So now the database is updated. So then I can run the server again and go back to Visual Studio Code. Then I need to do some changes to the serializer. First I want to create a serializer for the user. So I can first begin by just copying this line and paste it at the top here. Then I can create it by saying class user serializer pass in serializer.model serializer Set the class meta for configuration and the model should be user. And then the fields I want to get here is ID. I want to get the first name and the last name. We don't need anything more yet. And then in the course detail serializer I want to access this data. To do that we need to first add here created by equals user serializer. And here we pass in many equals false because there are only one created by. And then I can also append this here and save. So now this data should be available as an object on the course detail page. So if I then continue to the view part of this task, we need to go to views and then find course.view. And then below the course title, I want to show who the author is. So create a paragraph class and set the class to be subtitle. And then in here I can say course dot created by dot first name. And then I want a plus so I have some space between the first name and the last name. Just copy this, paste it, and say last name instead. And then after here I can close this and I can also append by there so I know who this was. So hopefully no errors and if I go here now refresh okay I get an error here because I can't read property undefined. Okay so if I go back here now I just want to scroll down and find the mounted here where we get the data. As you can see here I get this data from the server so it should be here somewhere no I don't get it but it might be because I don't have this here but if I now add created by as an empty object in here it might work so refresh yes at least it says by undefined but you can see here that we get the data course but the course is actually empty Okay, it looks like I'm not authenticated, I'm not sure why, but let me try to log out and log in again. So log out, okay, the problem is that I have these two classes here. So if I just remove these temporary, go back and refresh, I'm authenticated in the back end. As you can see here now, this is almost working. I just need to add a first name and last name to my user. If I just log in here now, log in with my user, and then I can find my username, users, open up admin, and then I can say Stein Helset. 
I'm done. I save this. I refresh here now. That did not work. Okay, it's actually this user who owns it. Stein, that's it. Save again. Refresh. And now you see Programming Course 1 by Stein Halset, which is me. Nice. So now we know who this is. Next step now is to be able to click this so we can visit an author page. But if I go back here now, I can set this to done first. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to all of my patrons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link in the description below. Great. So then I can continue by building the author page. First, we can begin with the back end. So if you go to views.py, I want to create a new view here. So at API view, and this should only use the get request because you can't post anything to this. Then def get author courses, because I want to get all of the courses connected to an author request. And here we pass in user ID. And then I want to get the user from the backend or the database by saying user equals user.objects.get primary key equals user ID. I think I need to import this. Yes. From Django.contrib.auth.models import user. So now that should be available. And then I want to get all of the courses for this user. And I just say user.courses.all. Then I want to use the user serializer for that data. So that's a user serializer equals user serializer. And then we pass in user and set many equals false. And we can do the same with the serializer for the course list. So courses serializer equals course list serializer. I repass in the courses for this user. And here is at many equals true because there are more, usually more than one course. At least we want a list. So then I can just copy this response, create a dictionary inside there. Then we add one option for courses. Say courses serializer dot data and created by user serializer dot data. So now that should be available in the front end. Just need to import the serializer as well. You can import it at the end here. User serializer. Then the last step in the back end is to add this to the urls.py file. So below the get categories we can say path get author courses and then we need to pass in an integer which is called user id here so we know which author we want to get the courses for and then just views dot get author courses great so then we can go to the front end and create a new page we can just make a copy of courses dot view then create a new file called author dot view and paste it in. Here we do not need this set active category. I want to rewrite this as well soon. We just remove this for now and we can remove everything connected with the categories. We can remove this and we can remove this. So I also want to remove this sidebar and we can remove these two. So we only have this. Sorry, by the way, I don't have any highlighting of the code. I will fix it for the next part. And instead of saying course here, I want to show the username or the name for the author. So let me just go to the detail page and here I can make a copy of this one. So we get course.createdby.lastName and first name like that. Um, so now starts to look like something but I should also go down here and then add one more property here created by make an object of that and I don't use course that created by I just use created by like that because this is something we get from the back end and then 
down here where we said this dot get courses we want to use a different url so just to remove this i use two backticks here and say courses slash get author courses and in here we pass in the url or the id we are on so do that to say this dot route dot params dot id and this should be the author id and then when we get the information back we can say this dot courses equals this dot no sorry response dot data dot courses and this dot created by equals response dot data dot created by and these two here points to these two courses and created by so now that should be done and then the next step in the front end is to add this to the router. So if we first import it here, import author from dot slash views slash author dot view. Then we can append it to the list here. Just make a copy of this and say author and ID. Just rename this to author and same with that one. So if I refresh now, no errors, and I should hopefully be able to go to author, sorry, authors, want it to be, so authors slash one. And then I get all of the courses for Stein Hellset. Nice. And if I go to one of the other users, which is also Stein Hellset, which is also the other user, he doesn't have any courses. But at least this is working now. So then I can go to the to-do list and set this task as well to done. Last step of this part is then to create a link to the author page. So if I go back one step, click on the programming course, I want to be able to click this to visit the author page. So go back to course.view and instead of using a paragraph here, I want to use a router link. And then we bind this by using colon2 and which route we are going to use is the name colon author and we also need to specify the id of this author so params colon a new dictionary id course dot created by dot id then close that one close that one and we also need to rename this to router link and save so if I refresh now, I get an error missing required param ID. Okay, so to fix that, this should still just be like it is. But if I scroll down here, we can set the default ID to be zero. Save, go back and refresh. And now we have the Stein set here. And you can see down in the left corner, it links to authors slash one. If I click it, I go to this page. Nice. So then I can set the last task to done. And that was it for this part. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please hit like below. If you have any suggestions for the next part, feel free to leave a comment below. And I'll see what I can do. See you in the next video.